Hey, what's going on, y'all? Eric Muldry here with Cobra Conversations. Thanks for joining me today. First thing, if you enjoy videos or appreciate videos that help you understand a police use of force and all things related to policing and tactics, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my newer content. I'm going to be discussing this recent event. Now, there's still some details that are unknown. But what we know right now is Capitol Hill locked down after vehicle rams into two police officers, authority state. The U.S. Capitol Police confirmed that someone rammed their vehicle into two Capitol Police officers on Friday near an entry point to Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. USCP, United States Capitol Police, is responding to the North Barricade Vehicle Access Point along Constitution Avenue for reports someone rammed a vehicle into two USCP officers, said a tweet from the police force. A suspect is in custody. Both officers are injured. All three have been transported to the hospital. I guess the suspect and the two officers have been transported to the hospital. Other details were not provided by law enforcement agencies. So this is what we know so far. I haven't seen anything new. I'm going to Keep looking to see if any, any additional information comes up. According to an alert sent to staff, due to, external secure, due to an external security threat, staff members were told they cannot enter or exit. And they were told to stay away from windows and doors. I guess there was concern of a shooting. I'm not sure if any gunfire was exchanged or not. If you are outside, seek cover. Due to an exterior security threat, no entry or exit is permitted at this time in any building in the Capitol complex. A voice announcement said, according to footage from the scene, you may move around the buildings, but stay away from exterior windows and doors. There was a car that appeared to be smashed into a barrier outside the Capitol, according to, to photos and video footage taken at the scene. Now, I'm going to do some research and see if there's any video footage. The FBI Washington field officers wrote on Twitter that it is supporting the Capitol Police after the incident. I would hope so. Praying for United States Capitol officers who were attacked at the Capitol, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell tweeted, we're still learning what's, what's taking place. Grateful to all the USCP and first responders who are on the scene. Unconfirmed reports said that gunshots were fired. It's not immediately clear if a suspect opened fire, if police opened fire or both. An unnamed officer told Fox News, man, we just shot somebody. Meanwhile, the unnamed source told news out outlets that the suspect was allegedly armed with a knife before officers opened fire. So there's conflicting information, as is almost always when you're dealing with a, a, a new incident, a hot call, so to speak. You never really know until things calm down and then you get more details. The incident took place about 300 feet from the entrance of the Senate building in the Capitol. The Epic Times has contacted police for comment. So again, this article is from the Epic Times. Give them shout out to them. Give them credit for that. So that's what we have so far. I'm sure by the time this video is up and running, we'll have more information. Things happen so quickly. Nothing is ever static in the early phases of an incident like this. The sad part about this is, you know how this is going to be spun in the media because they already have the the whole capital area in on lockdown and and fenced in and with barbed wire and all that kind of stuff. So this is only going to help justify for the, those people who support that idea. Like there have never been any threats in the history of our country. That has been a consistent theme. A new president is in office, is placed in power. There are people out there that want harm to come to them. There are people out there that hate them. It's just a natural reality of the job. Like I said, I don't know all the details, but if someone just rammed their vehicle maliciously, more than likely, this is going to be painted as a majority of people out there, the, those whack job conservatives, probably what they'll try to say. This will just be used to continue to, to suppress speech and a lot of people's rights. It continues to demonstrate the unfortunate state that we are in as a society. The actions of a few are being painted with a broad brush towards those of us, towards those of us who hold to conservative views. The really sad and hypocritical part of this whole thing is they never do that with people that hold to their same perspective, they hold to their same worldview. 
you had all the destruction and terror that took place during the summer of last year, post the George Floyd incident. All the property, the billions of dollars worth of damage that was done, all the lives that were lost, but that was justified. But you had that silly act at the at the Capitol that took place earlier in the year, and it's an insurrection. It's a it's white supremacy, all the ridiculous talking points. And we'll hear more of that. And this will just continue, as I said before, to perpetuate this hysteria. We're in a bad place, y'all, as a country. I think we all need to really start understanding that. I'll try to keep you posted if I hear any additional information. Comment down below. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Do you think this is going to continue to be used to push forward their agenda or no? In the meantime, stay safe, God bless, and make sure you join the conversation.